Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and we're going to be doing some more tips on how to decorate a writing journal uh, to keep it flat with the caveat that this journal will not be flat when I'm done because I'm going to do other things to it like stuff it with ephemera. Okay, but aside from that, we're just decorating it at this point because the ephemera will all be removable so you can end up with a flat writing journal at the end if that's what you really want to have. If after you gift it or sell it to somebody, you can remove all the beautiful ephemera and be left with pages that you can write on, tell your story however way you like, um, because, well, frankly, all this stuff is going to be removable. So, easy concept, very fun for beginners. Uh, if they feel overwhelmed by the number of pages or the need to decorate a lot of pages because maybe they see somebody else do that and they feel like, that's the way it's done. I want to kind of break the mold on that's the way it's done. Let me just put this back. Um, there's no that's the way it's, well, there is that's the way it's done, but that doesn't mean you have to do it that way. I guess that's my point. So don't be afraid to do things completely differently than everybody else is doing it. I think that's kind of cool, actually. Um, so today's concept is extremely simple, and I'm hoping it's fun. Let me zoom in a little bit so you get a good bird's eye view. I'm going to start maybe in the front. And let's see, just three, decorate the third page. Maybe I'll go to the second page, or maybe I'll go deeper. Maybe I'll go deeper. One, two, three. There was something there. One, I, and I probably count wrong. Two, three. Okay, so I'm, I don't know, six, 12, or nine pages in, something like that. So we're going to be doodling today. Before, I would doodle with a Faber Castell artist pen small little tiny micro marker point get any piece of paper make sure that my pen is working and it is zoom it in so I would do something like this I would I would generally start in a corner and I would maybe maybe I'll just do something like I'm gonna do little viney things coming out into the page and maybe these are going to have some little berry-like elements. I think we did something like this similarly recently. Just some little botanical style images. Very fun. Very relaxing if you like to doodle, draw, zen tangle. No, no, this is zen tangle, but you know what I mean like that. Relaxing experience you get from just doing basic little sketch drawings, which is, anybody can do this. It's not hard. Um, Maybe I want to put some leaves. Leaves don't have to be fancy. Can you see if I got my fingers in the way? Probably. Um, you can put as, as many or as few as you want. They can all be a little bit different. Okay. And um, you could just leave it something like that. I think the other example was we colored these in. I think we did that with uh, rubber stamping and then coloring in the white areas. You can do that. You can leave it blank like this. But the next one I want to do is not use this pen. Let me back up a little bit not use this pen, discarding that, and going straight to colored pencils. Let me see if I can pan this over here so you can see what I'm working with. Just got a bunch of colored pencils. These don't need to be expensive or fancy. Um, I think these are probably expensive and fancy, but you don't need these. That's what I'm trying to say. So you can just go down to the dollar store and get some uh, colored pencils, and they will be fine for this project. But if you want to, you know, if you did buy the fancies and you want to use them up, by all means, use your fancies, okay? Those are di that's different than your pretties. These are the fancies. Um, Sunny is now having a burst of energy running around in the living room. I don't know if you can hear him in the background, but um, yeah, he's playing with his toys. Okay, so I thought I would just uh, pick out some pretty colors and draw with them. Let's see. I just hope this one's that will show up. I'm going to need my sharpener. Whoop. And I thought instead of just staying in the corner, I would expand the entire project across a page, maybe even across two pages. We shall see. So let's do one, two, three. Have I crossed the middle yet? Oh, here's the very big middle. So maybe I'll do it in the middle. Um, I don't even know. I'm going to do it lightly. In other words, I'm not going to make dark lines. I want them dark enough so you can see them. But I also want this to be a preserved space so somebody could actually write their story across the drawings. I, I don't even know what this is going to look like, but let's just have some fun. This is a bit, I need glasses. Um, we, uh, it's a low pressure day. Um, it's relaxing. Uh, and sometimes we need low pressure days where we're not 
trying to create uh, giant things or complicated or difficult things, but we're just maybe having fun with what we're doing. And I don't know if you can see that very well, but that's what it looks like. A, you know, I don't know what this is going to be. Okay, in the long run of things. Okay. Okay, so I just drew a basic little design shape. Nothing, nothing fancy, just kind of doodling. And um, let's see where this goes. I think I'm going to add some green. It seems to be calling for a green of some sort. Are you the green that it's calling for? You could be. Let's try you. All right, so um, I'm just going to... It's just random ideas. There's really no rhyme or reason to any of this other than just play and having fun with the process. Getting out of the ordinary into the land of something unusual, obscure, off the Richter scale, out of my normal place. I'm sensing this is whimsical, and I'm generally not a whimsical girl, if you've heard me talk about that term. Not my favorite term, but I'm sensing there's an air of whimsy about this page. Yeah, I'm just going to have to, I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to have to embrace it. I'm going to embrace it and see where it goes. And I don't know at this point yet. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to mirror these lines for some reason. I don't know why, I just am. Mirroring the green line with the pink line. It doesn't have to make sense. Let me, let me say that. None of it has to make sense. I think that's important to know as we go into these things. Um, it can just be. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe here. I'm feeling, oh, I don't know. I almost feel like I want to do a, a giant butterfly somehow behind this. And maybe I want more of this over here. So it's almost like a butterfly will be coming through some vines but we're going to draw the viney things, these weird things first, and then maybe the butterfly behind it. Let's just try that concept. Okay, this is because I probably saw a butterfly here and I thought, oh, we have something butterflyish going here. Maybe I'm going to start this one from the bottom. Maybe it's not going to follow the exact same path. Maybe it's going to do a little bit of a different path. Because that's the way things grow sometimes. They don't always grow in symmetry. Mm -hmm. And there's no right or wrong. You can't do it wrong. Just shake that out of your head and go off bravely into a new direction. You've never gone before. Boy, it's so deep today, Pam. Wow, so deep. Okay, just have fun. Just have fun with your paper. It all just boils down to that. If you find uh, it's looking appealing, keep going with the flow. If you find you're judging yourself too harshly, let that go and just keep going with the flow and see where it takes you. Don't know where this is going. I have no idea. Uh, but ideas will come to you as you sit there and you, you kind of goof along with this stuff. Um, okay, I'm going to do my mirroring again. I don't know why. Mirroring the pink and the green line. There we go. All right, so now I have this weird stuff, which makes no sense to anybody. But we're here together, and we're going to see where it goes. So now, I would like to have this big butterfly coming at you through this. It's almost going to be a magnified thing. That's why I see my head's up. I don't know if this is going to work. We're just going to try. Okay, so he's going to have a... Uh, he's going to have a big old head. Uh, here, maybe? Here's the body. And now it's going to hide behind some of the stuff. That's, that's what they do. And this might even go off the page because he's got a long thing. And now I think his wings, I'm going to do this right, okay, bang here, and then shoot, yeah, okay. Okay, now we're going to hide it behind these things, so it's going behind the vine. Okay, so that's kind of weird, but we'll go with it. Okay, there, all right, there he's uh, starting to appear. You see him? He's awesome. Isn't he totally awesome? <laughs> okay, there's that, okay, we got to carry on over here. And then where is this line? 
Okay. If I do this right, it's okay. It's not perfect. Um, okay. I'm going to show the bottom of the wings. No, I don't think so. Um, maybe this is the underside of the butterfly coming at us as if it's coming feet first. I don't know. Like maybe we're looking up through some vines. We're laying on our back on the ground looking up and this butterfly is descending upon us. Okay, I, I cannot draw this that perfectly, but I will do my best. So I think he's, he's very whimsically going to have a face on this side. He's very whimsical. All right, there we go. We got a smile. And he's rocking that. Okay, so now I think here, it's a little tricky with the string in the middle, but I think I'm going to give him some lines, defining the body a little bit more. And that will give us some visual structure to his little self. Here we go. Whoop, that one went cockeyed. That's all right. You know, it's in nature, there is rarely symmetry. There's sym symmetry light, where it looks like symmetry, but really, when you look closely, like at the two halves of a person's face, or your dog's face, or anything, there's the two sides are different naturally due to, you know, anatomical differences, musculature, facial movements constantly contracting more on one side than another, bony structures being different. There's always a little bit of something. You know what I mean? I'm going to put some feet here. Not, like right now, I have absolutely no idea what butterfly feet look like, but I think it falls into the category of insects, so he's going to have six legs. So I have no idea where they actually go, but I should put some legs here. Okay. Little prayer-like legs. Here you go. Whoops. Got that part. Maybe down here. Yeah, you got your six legs. Now we look like that's the underside of you. Now he's got to have some decoration on his back. On his back, on his wings. I think he's going to have these, uh, well, let's do, let's give him like a border. A border. Okay. Uh, I'll do that. That doesn't make any sense, but we'll just do it. Because we're not sure, but we're going for it anyway. All right. You go there. You got like a double line. And we had a double line there, so we'll put a double line here. I'm trying to think of like a monarch that would have the, um, you know, the sections. Doesn't really. Okay, I think I need some like defining winged shape here. Okay, so there's something going on, but let's make it look more butterfly-like. Looks like a caterpillar just kind of stretching at this point. Maybe a worm. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, let's see where we can take this. I'll just give him these wonderful things that butterflies sometimes have. Okay, these little areas. Now some might be obscured by the thing, the viney thing. Okay, all right. All right, put some different ones down here. Maybe one that's kind of half growing out of this. They can be big ones. Oh, since it's going off the page, I'm going to do some that kind of hang off the page. All right. Then some that are obscured. Okay, there we go. Something that's off the page down here. Okay, looking interesting. Still not quite sure where this is all going, but having fun with it. Okay, give some of these, just random ones. Okay, a couple more. Okay, it's that section. Okay, and a big one here. And in this little wing here. 
So hoping you're having fun today crafting. And you can pull out your crayons or um, colored pencils and draw along or doodle something else completely. That's fine. He probably has antenna, right? And pe antenna are going to go right off because we're not going to see them all because they're just there. Okay. A couple more little sections here. This part is obscured. All right. Okay. Okay. I think that's looking right so far. This little area here. All right, so I think I want to amp up the pink in here. Now I could do a couple things. But I think what I'm going to do, where's my pencil sharpener? Now I'm demonstrating the Derwent pencil sharpener, which I love. Not sponsored, just like it. Stick it in there about one, two, three, four, maybe. That's good enough. Not super sharp, but just good enough for my needs right now. Okay, have a hard, don't sharpen on your paper because you'll cut you'll get like stuff on it I never learn I never learn okay, I think I want to define these viney things with the pink a little bit more intensely so I think I'm gonna maybe color these in let me time was okay um, all right in here and just give it a little bit of maybe something more defined around these lollipop things, these weird lollipop leaf things. And in here, more pink, a little more intensity. I can't, I can't stay in the lines. Never could, probably not gonna happen now. That's where whimsy comes in, right? <laughs> Ugh. Whimsy the bane of my existence. <laughs> I don't know. Why is my butterfly coming out all whimsical? Figures. <laughs> Figures. It's okay. I'm just going to let it be. I'm not going to fight it. I'll we'll call this the whimsical butterfly page. How about that? But I don't know. Just like this loose art is fun. It kind of feels non-committal. Um, free, relaxing. Um, a little space to play in. And... Now, if I start drawing really heavy, nobody will be able to write over this. And I don't know if they would write over it, but they could. Or they could put a secret message in each one of these. I don't know what they're going to do with it. It's going to be their journal. All right. All right, here we go. And let's emphasize this one a little bit more. Let's let the pencil do the work. Coming off here. The pencil do the work. Loose with the hand. Let go of the vice grip on your pencil. And let the pencil play on your paper. And just see where it wants to go. It'll get a feel for it. It's taking off the uh, chokehold on your art. You just release it. Need more pink here. Sometimes a heavy hand is good. Sometimes a lighter hand is good. Just depends. Okay, I'm going to try a light. Whimsical swirl. Ugh. And, yep, and one here too. Sort of need of one there. Okay. All right. Over here. Here we go. I guess I'm going to color this all in. And,. Remember, they are your toys to play with. So if you like just doing something that is maybe not serious, not uh, high pressure, not um, laden with responsibilities and all that other stuff that life comes with so beautifully packaged for you. I mean, can we talk taxes? You know, there's a good feeling. Right? You know that You know that feeling? Yeah. Um, do, trying to do your taxes? Um, I do say trying. Uh, no, I did my taxes, but it was like it was like having all my teeth pulled at the same time. Yeah, that is what the, the 
it was akin to, and I do not look forward to doing that again. But I would look forward to doing something like this again because this is fun and relaxing and playful. And I think it's important to balance our brains with light activities that are enjoyable. I don't think we're meant to suffer all the time. I think we are meant to play and explore and try new things and have some fun. Somehow fun gets uh, relegated to the children and um, we feel like maybe we're not allowed to have fun like it's. That's child's play, that's um, beneath us, it's, it's, well, we don't do that anymore, that's just plain silly. You know what I mean, that, you know? We must be serious and professional and, and all of that, and boy, so much is lost and given up when uh, we get tied up in that world. And it's good to just break free of it every once in a while and just say, hey, wait a minute, I want to go splash in a mud puddle, and I don't care what y'all think, mm -hmm, I'm just going to do it, I'm going to have some fun. And um, I may laugh and cackle louder than is acceptable <laughs> in social situations. Um, and that's okay. There we go. All right, I think we have all those, right? Okay, now what do we have? We have this. Okay, it's got, it's got something. It's got something. Um, she said repetitively. Now, if I do more dark interesting pink lines it's going to confuse so i think i should come in with the green oh we need a little sharpener going on here right let's move that let's put this here let's pinch this in um now we're gonna sharpen this way one two three four okay let's see what we got nope gotta go further this was a real shorty pants okay okay i think we got some oh yeah look at that transformation right before your eyes okay I do want to do, I want to emphasize the shape of the butterfly a little bit more because it's getting lost with all the lines. So I'm going to give him some structure or definition of his boundaries. Apparently it's a boy. I don't know why, it just is. <laughs> a little boy butterfly. Um, and then in here, these little separations of the, the two wings. I don't know if I drew this anatomically correct, but I just, I went for the feel. I was looking a little more moth-like because of the separation there, but I could be wrong. There might be a butterfly out there that looks like this. Maybe not, you know, pink and green, or maybe there is, who knows? I am not a butterfly expert, so I can't rule it out. But I'm thinking this might just live in my imagination. Okay trying to get the lines to line up. That's always like a good visual if you can get the lines to line up. From here to here, I didn't quite nail it. Let me turn this a little fatter. It's a little better, yeah. So the line will, yeah, okay, that's better. And then here, okay, now what do we have? Okay, see, it's a little more defined. Okay, I'll, I'll agree with you. It is looking a little odd, but it is still fun. It is still fun in the realm of the fun zone of funness. So I'm still going with it here. And I'm not done yet, so well, who knows where this will end up. Okay, now let's maybe define his body a little bit more. Stronger lines question is, would you still be able to write all over this? That is the question, isn't it? Maybe it'll just be a, a decorative page. Okay, I have an idea. don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to try it. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if I should go in and fill in all the non-white, like the circle, like avoid the circles, but just color everything in green. I've got a funny feeling that's the way to go. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to follow this tendency. This might take me a second. But um, I think it's the way to go. Lighter, maybe lighter touch, more shading, shading, tilting the, the pencil on its side a little bit to get more shading going. Um, yeah. Here we go, this little guy. And here, whoop. Just coloring in. 
Nothing fancy again. Okay. I'm not really making this an official series, but I mean, I'm going to put all these in my um, journal construction playlist so you can find them because they're sort of standalone ideas. But you could um, you could easily do a whole journal like this, which is apparently what I'm doing. But um, I just wanted to see you have you see another approach to making a journal, something a little off the wall maybe a little unexpected, and to let you know that you have the freedom to do that. I did not, I missed this one, this pink needs more. It needs its free-flowing pinkedness of whimsy around here. Ah. Okay. <laughs> and here we go. Do you have words like that that pop, like just plain bug ya? I don't know what it is. I'm a I love words, but there are a few that just plain bug me. I don't know why. Okay. There we go. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Maybe I should do the bottom half of the wings a different color. But she is... He is presenting himself a little more strongly now with his wingage. I, I, I do see it. Um, maybe I'm the only one, and that's okay. <laughs> Just, I want you to know that it's okay. If only you see it, it's all right. All right. And just, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just like subtle enhancement with the pigment and the color that's going being, being laid down here. And using the white space inside those little circles everywhere as the pop-out color. So they don't always have to be colored in. They can be white. I don't, I don't think nature colors cyan. Aren't they white? I don't, I don't, I'm trying to picture a monarch right now or, you know, one of those butterflies with the cells of definition. I, I cannot honestly think of it. I know I see orange when I look at a monarch. Is it black spots? Or are they white? No, I think they're black spots. I'm thinking. See, I can't reference when I'm, I'm using my phone to be my camera. I could look so smart and I'd have that answer. But no, I'm left helplessly bobbing in the water of the unknown answer because I can't access Google. Well, I have my, I have my uh, PC right here, so I'm, I'm, that's a big fuss pot of lazy bones. I'm just, I don't want to put down the pencil. I just want to keep coloring. <laughs> stay in the line span. Or stay, yeah. There you go. Okay, what do we got here? Look at this little area here needs to be colored in. All right, I got. Now oh, I think I, I think you get the concept. I think he has a bindi. Um, let me get a little more. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A little more definition on that. Let me define his little head a little more. Yeah, I'm just increasing the depth and intensity of the line. Okay. Hmm, there we go. All right, so now, do I do the bottom two? I think I should do the bottom two, but we might have to leave that for another day. Um, so I'm just going to leave it here as is, back up a little bit so you can get a full... Thing, that we can go more places with this, but let's maybe pick this up next time and continue with this little thing and see where it goes. Um, so we got a half for today, a half a project. Um, and we carry on from here on how to decorate the flat writing journal without adding bulk, but still adding lots of drama and decorations. Okay, fluff, fluffer, fuss pants, come here. I'm right, I'm right here, Ma. I, I don't really, okay. Hello everybody, it's Sunshine Pup, Cup, Cup, Pup, Pup, Cub Reporter. Okay, that's very good. That wasn't easy to say, was it? No, no, it wasn't easy. Okay, so here's the news around the neighborhood. Um, Mom had a friend come over. Hi, Francis. And, um, hi, Linda. And she had friends come over. And they went to the beach. 
and they came home sandy. Yeah, okay, so I would just like to say, why does sunshine get a mouthful of mother, like, like, she's all upset if she comes in with sandy feet from the park, but when mom and her friends come in with sandy feet, apparently there's no issue at all. There is no, nothing, nothing happens. Actually, I think I heard the words, don't worry about the sand, just come on in. I heard that. I want you to know, I see all, Mother. You can't put one past me. I see everything that goes on. There was sand. What about sunshine sand? <laughs> Your sand is, well, I would say it was more like park dirt. Listen, are we splitting hair? we're splitting hairs here. This is, listen, if you're going to bring the outside inside, you should at least wipe your paws before you come in. We had no mat for anybody to wipe their paws. I know. Can you please fix that? I will fix that. Okay. And, um, no, Mom, not the ears. Oh, I feel so good. I can't stay focused, Mom, no. Oh, I'm going to fall asleep. No, I'm wide awake now for some reason. Now I'm back to sleep. No, I'm awake. Okay. I think I've said enough. All right. I love you all. Happy crafting. And wipe your feet. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, sunshine. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. There you go, folks. We drew a doodle. A half done butterfly. That was our mission today. Um, okay. So, if you don't know, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. Um, you get a... Uh, if you sign up for that, all the links are down below in the description drop-down box. Um, mm. You get a free digital image emailed to you every month, a checklist of supplies uh, for junk journals, a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how you, you, yeah, to use it, and um, a, a page list of ideas on how to break a blank page. Uh, you're also going to get junk journal updates. Um, our junk journal tips, updates from me, and peeks at new digi kits that come out. And um, I have my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, new material. And there's also video podcasts every other day of the week on Spotify. And also, um, I have an Etsy shop where you could buy journals and bundles and kits when I have them available for sale. I also sell digi kits, which are printable downloads. There's over 200 different themed um, packages or images that you can buy. There's five uh, pages in each digi kit. If you don't like to print at home or you don't have a printer, I will print out uh, for a flat fee. A, uh, I have a print and mail service. All you do is buy the print and mail service um, in my Etsy shop and then give me the 10 names of the digi kits that you want. And you can either email that to me at pam at the paper outpost.com or Pam's email address and uh, or um, send it through Etsy message. And um, I sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting paper, old antique ledger, checks, receipts, postcards, black and white photos, tea cards, different um, old book pages, vintage music sheets, uh, dictionary sheets, all sorts of fun things, 100 plus pieces. Free priority shipping comes with that. Also, uh, I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies. Um, you should be able to find links there. I try and put the links that I can find in there for you. Um, that does help my shop, but you don't pay more for the items for using my links. So thank you very much for everybody who's used my links. And also, um, I have a merchandise shop, which is a t-shirt shop. Uh, if you like the phrase, create with reckless abandon, or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, hmm, there you go. You can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zipped hoodie, a mug, a toter, a water, water bottle. Great for gift giving for yourself, family, friends, or fellow crafters. You can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having weekly and monthly challenges over there as well as seeing what you guys make on these videos. Very inspirational place to come and check out. And remember most of all that fun can be simple, as simple as a doodle, and create with reckless abandon, everybody. Take care, hunts. Bye-bye.